Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace, back again with another video. Now I did a video, I think on the 7th, where I mentioned that I had ordered a gaming system and I mentioned that I would show it once it arrived. Well, it has arrived. After I ordered it, I placed an order for a game for it. Even though this comes bundled with games, I went ahead and ordered another game. That has arrived, along with a carrying case, which I left in another room, so I can't show you that. Although I will tell you there are two options uh, for this system as far as carrying cases go. One is, a, uh, I guess, an officially licensed case. It is soft, but it has the uh, logo on it. And the one without the logo is hard. I ordered the hard case. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about a system that comes in three bundle options. The Evercade. There is the uh, base bundle, which comes with one game cartridge. There's the premium, which comes with three. And then on the upper end of the scale, there is a bundle that comes with 10 game cartridges. I ordered the premium. Now I'm going to demonstrate everything, but uh, before I get to that, I want to shout out my Patreon supporters. This past week, I gained two Patreon supporters. And so I wanted to take this opportunity to thank them and my existing Patreon supporters for doing so. Uh, they are Alex is playing, Andrew JM, Bamsey, that's pronounced Bamser, Daniel, Dr. Mark Mad Scientist, even or Yvonne uh, McGregor, I hope I, I am pronouncing that correctly. This is someone that I first came across at highscore.com. And then uh, we began interacting at levelupscore.com as well as uh, through Discord. Uh, Emily on the West, Graham Warden, Joseph Reed Gaines, Mark McGillicott, Sam and Scott Van Borges. Now you can see a list of all my Patreon supporters down there, as well as a link to my Patreon account if you wish to become a Patreon supporter. There are no tiers, so a minimum of a dollar a month is all it costs. And as I mentioned to uh, even when he became a supporter, he did it, he timed it just right because uh, a couple times each week I post a, a list of games that I have duplicate Steam keys for that I am offering for grabs to my Patreon supporters. No tears, no drawings, just as long as you're a Patreon supporter, grab what you want. This most recent list has 185 keys. Everything is listed alphabetically, so it's real easy. Okay, getting back to the Evercade. This is a product of the UK. So some of you here in the US might be wondering, well, am I gonna be able to play this then? Because uh, don't they use uh, 220 volts over there or 240? Uh, whereas we here in the U.S. use between 110 and 120 volts. Well, that's true. However, the FRK can tell the difference. You plug it in, it automatically knows what it is and uh, works accordingly. I have a multi-region DVD player that works the same way. It can handle anything between 100 and 240 volts. Plug it in, it knows which one it is and works just fine. Now, I've already opened everything up, obviously because it says not to use it until you've given it a full charge, and I have given it a full charge. It comes with the recharge cable, obviously. It does not, however, come with the HDMI cable that allows you to feed the signal from the Evercade to your TV. Mentions. Also, play on your TV. Seven. 20p HDMI.
So we're going to have to order that cable separately. This is the unit. It has a pretty good screen, a D-pad, a menu button, as well as select start a, B, X, Y, and if I didn't already mention them, shoulder buttons. Now, this has a full charge. So, first one I'm going to show you is release one. They number each release on the spine. This is Atari Collection 1. This is a collection of games for the 2600 and the 7800. There is a collection too, if I didn't already mention that. The games for the 7800 that are on here are all games that I own. Uh, Alien Brigade, Ninja Golf, and Psycho, no, Motor Psycho. In fact, I think my copy is sealed. Anyway, there's that. Comes with a manual, which um, goes through the games. That, well, I'll show you. Not every every game, but Motorcycle. About the game, it has a paragraph on that. It has a screenshot. It has a picture of the um, box. Version released uh, 7800 1990. Developer Blue Sky Software. Publisher Atari. Genre racing slash driving. And then it has a diagram for the controls. I'm going to pop the cartridge in. I believe it was uh, the Crow Continuum, aka Crow1111, who did a video on his Evercade that prompted me to buy mine. I have to be careful not to hit the shoulder buttons because they cause it to ding ding ding. I did turn it on, didn't I? I had my hands over the shoulder buttons. Now there is an adjustment for volume, a headphone jack. This is uh, the recharge port. Up here is the HDMI out port. Send the signal to your TV and the on off button. Okay, and it has gone, the monitor has gone to sleep. So I'll hit there. Alien Brigade. And then in the upper left hand corner is the uh, charge status for the Evercade itself. It's fully green. Alien Brigade, 1990, 7800, shooter. Adventure, 1979, 2600, Action. Aquaventure, 1983, 2600, Shoot'em Up. Asteroids, 1981, 2600, Shooter. Canyon Bomber, 1978, 2600, Action. Crystal Castles, 1984, 2600, Maze. Centipede, 1982, 2600, Shooter. Double Dunk, 1989, 2600, Sport. Desert Falcon, 1987, 2600, Maze. Food Fight, 1987, 7800 Arcade. I used to have this boxed, but uh, my boxed 
my box became damaged in a flood. So, I do have the cartridge though. I saved it. Gravatar, 1983, 2600 shooter. Mystical Man, 1981, 2600 shooter. Motor Psycho, 1990, 7800 racing. Night Driver, 1978, 2600 racing. I remember when I got that game for my 2600, my, well, my VCS, back in the day, and I played it quite a lot. Ninja Golf, 1990, 7800, sports beat em up. Uh, if you've never played Ninja Golf, it's an experience. Steeplechase, 1980, 2600, sport. Sword, sword Quest. Earthworld, 1982, 2600, Adventure. I think there were three uh, Sword Quest movie, uh, movies, games. Tempest, 1984, 2600, Shooter. Video Pinball, 1980, 2600, Pinball. That's what I have complete. Yards Return, 2005, 2600, Shooter. And then we're back to Alien Brigade. Kind of hard not to touch those shoulder buttons. Now, if I didn't already mention it, I looked it up. There are to date 19 releases. And one that I really want is the um, Codemasters Collection 1, which has. Um, Psycho Pinball. Okay, next up we have Data East Collection 1. This is release 3. Now, in addition to Codemasters, there's also a Bitmap Brothers collection. Blaze Entertainment. By the way, I tried it and it does boot up like this, well, even without a cartridge in it. But I turned it off before it got past that because I didn't want to damage anything. Okay, Bad Dudes, 1989, 8-Bit, beat em up. Bird and Rubber, 1988, 8-Bit, racing, top down. Burger Time, 1985, 8-Bit, platformer. Two Crude Dudes, 1991, 16-Bit, beat em up. Fighters History, 1994, 16-Bit, fighting. Joe and Mac 2, 1994, 16-bit platformer. Karate Champ, 1986, 8-bit fighter. Magical Drop 2, 1996, 16-bit puzzler. Midnight Resistance, 1991, 16-bit run and gun. Side Pocket, 1993, 16-bit sport. And that is it for this collection. Now, at levelupscore.com, there is not a category for the Evercade, so you would submit these scores under emulation. Okay, the third and last one that came with this bundle, but I have another one to show. This is the Interplay Collection 1. This is uh, release 4. No need to load this one. It's um, Clay Fighter, Earthworm Jim, Battle Chess, Booger Man, Incantation, and Titan. I'm wondering if they'll ever get to releasing in any of interplays the licensed properties like uh, Star Trek. 
Okay, what I ordered. This is release 13. Atari Lynx Collection 1. And down at the bottom, in the center, you might be able to make up, make out, although you probably can't, the Songbird Productions logo. Songbird releases homebrews for the Lynx and unfinished prototypes. They finished them and then released them. They do the same thing for the Jaguar and the Jaguar CD. Now what's cool about this is I have a Lynx, a Model 2, and the screen is wonky. You can turn the backlight off, but if you do that, it's total, totally black. So you have to have the black light, backlight on and then have to constantly fiddle with the contrast to be able to make out anything. It's a pain in the you-know-what. But this has a much nicer screen. All right. We have Awesome Golf 1991 Sport. Basket Brawl 1992 Action. Crystal Mines 2. Buried Treasure. 1992, 2003. That one has something like 200 levels, and then Songbird added another 180 some odd levels. So more levels than you could deal with. Certainly more than I can. Cyber Virus, 2002. Uh, first person shooter. If it is uh, a later release like that, you can almost guarantee that it's from Songbird. Okay, Dracula, The Undead, 1991, Adventure. Gordo, uh, 106, 1993, Platformer. Hoshido, The Way of Stones, 1990, Puzzle. Jimmy Connors, Tennis, 1993, Sport. Okay, I may have this one in my collection. Uh, Loops, with a Z. Or with a Z. 2004, Puzzle. Okay, I have this one boxed. Malibu Bikini Volleyball, 1993, Sport. Okay, this is a uh, homebrew compilation that Songbird put out. I didn't get it, but anyway, it's Mega Pack Volume 1, 2008, Miscellaneous. Uh, the uh, three games that I see listed, well, there's Parafly and Password. I don't know if that's a game or or if you enter in a password or something. Anyway, um, Link Sketch, Sound Tool, Chopper X, and Pontiac. Power Factor, 1993, Action. Remnant, Planet Wars, 2000, Space Shooter. Super Asteroids and Missile Command, 1996, Shoot 'em Up. Scrapyard Dog, 1991, Action. I have that one. Super Squeak, 1991, Puzzle, I have that one. Xump, The Final Run, 2019, Puzzle. I don't know, it looks like a snake get type game. And then we're back around to Awesome Golf. So that's what I have at the moment. I really, really want to get that um, Codemasters Collection 1 and the Bitmap Brothers Collection 1 also because it has uh, most of the um, Big Nose series on it. All right, that's going to do it for me with this video. Until next time, stay awesome.